What's up everyone, how's everyone feeling today? This is Mark Perry back at you with another video. And today I'm gonna to share with you two ways of how you can structure a deal with a private money lender. That's today's topic, let's dive right in. So the first way that you can structure a deal with a private money lender is you could do it through debt. So let's say, prime example, that you bought a property at $50,000 and it needs 50 grand in repairs. So you're all laying around $100,000. So you come to a private money lender, which I recommend that you go through friends and family members first. As a new real estate investor, if you wanna raise capital, go to friends and family members first. And then once you go to those friends and family members first, you can bring the deal and the opportunity to them. Once you get educated on the numbers and the area and so forth, you bring the opportunity to them and you present it to them and they can loan you money through debt. So if they loan you the whole $100,000, they charge you a 10% interest only on that money. So each year that will be about $10,000. So you have to understand like, okay, with debt, they'll charge me a 10% interest only or it could be 10% principal and interest. So it just depends. So that's through the debt way. The second way how you can uh, structure a deal with private money lender is through equity. So let's say prime example, that same concept, you bought a property at 50,000, needs 50,000 dollars work, you're all in at 100 grand. And now you go to the private money lender and they're, they're open to doing a partnership with you. So they'll start an LLC, they'll close on the property and you're gonna manage the property and then they're just gonna be a passive investor. They're gonna bring all the money to the table and you're gonna manage it. So you're gonna be talking to contractors, you're gonna be talking to individuals that's doing all the work and making sure that they're doing the work correctly at a fashion time and then what you're going to do by managing it you're going to be able to send pictures videos and give your private money lender an update of what's going on with the property and so forth especially if it's out of state if it's in state or out of state it doesn't matter long as you're giving your private money lender updates so you structure the deal with them through equity so let's say for instance if you're the manager and you're managing the property you're going to give your private money lender 60 percent and then you're going to keep 40. But you jumped into this deal with no money down because they're going to bring all the money and then you're going to be 40 percent of the deal once the deal sells so let's say on the back end you make a fifty thousand dollar profit 60 percent will go to the private money lender and 40 percent will go to you which i believe that's about 30 grand will go to you and then the remainder will go oh, i'm sorry 20 grand will go to you and the remainder will go to the private money lender which will be 30 grand so i hope that this video helps but those are two ways that you can structure a deal with a private money lender. So keep in mind, guys, that's the way that you do it. That's the way that you cultivate that. The first way will be, okay, let me structure the private money lender through debt. I can go that route or I can structure it through partnership, through equity. So I hope this video helps.